What's going on YouTube? This is Mr. Gaming for Fun. I was just sent a message about uh, the ban list a few hours ago. I gotta look it over and I just gotta say that I creamed my pants is like the best way to describe it over how excited I am about what we got on this new ban list. As many of you know, the ban list has been taking forever. We we're supposed to get it no sooner than August 2018 and we're almost midway through September and a lot of people just I saw all all over Zodiac and all over some of the Facebook pages people were calling for like the ban hammer and really dissing on Konami and I was a part of that group I'm not gonna lie I just was sick of it I'm like come on go back to when we could get dates of the bands that's like organized I love it that's great but now we've got this oh no sooner than month so and so and it's kind of like they're all having a giant circle jerk and they're taking forever so just to uh to go over the ban list i pulled it up on my phone and to start with samasera lotus i have no idea what that card was and i had to look it up that's some kind of plant ftk type of bs going on and then Nightmare Goblin. I know people were mainly asking for like Firewall and Goblin was on there but I was mainly hearing everyone doing Firewall hate mainly because uh, the people at my locals couldn't afford the Firewall and they, uh, they just wanted it gone for like the few people that had it, myself included, even though I wasn't using it. Then uh, MX Saber Invoker. I'm kind of sad about it because I like to play Madolce with it but um, I know Goki was abusing it and probably a few other decks and um, it just it was like okay that one got hit and then after that no spells or traps then a assault core ABC's got hit not the card I would expect because I was expecting ABC Buster just like in the OCG but I was like you know what that's all right and then the biggest thing that made me happy and this is where I, I just was like starting to get a hard on was fucking Stratos is back to one like fuck I don't even remember when he got hit I think I was watching Mega Capital G's video where it was like like 2010 or was it 2009 so, sometime about that era when I think it was Teledad that was making the uh, the 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 circuit. I don't know. I gotta rewatch Mega Capital G's video on that history. Maybe he's gotta do an update in the next few months about uh, Stratos coming back. And I just saw his video. He was all happy about it. But oh my God, as um, not many of you know, but um, back in high school, Heroes was like my all-time favorite deck. And to see this card banned, I was super sad. Then we got Shadow Miss. Like I want to say a decade later. And I was like, okay, that's kind of an improvement, but it's not Stratos. And then we got Blaze Man, and I was like, it's not Stratos. And then we got Vision Hero Vion, and I'm still like, it's not Stratos. And I'm just waiting and waiting. I'm like, oh my god, give us Stratos. And I'm like, they'll never give us Stratos. And I don't know if many of you saw it, but Destiny Hero Disc Commander just got a errata. This, I think, was about in, like, May or April. And they made his a once-per-duel effect, which they killed it. I don't know who came up with that effect, who decided that errata, but whoever did is going to be in, like, the lowest pits of hell or whatever. They're going to be suffering for that stupid errata. That was the most retardedest, retarded, most retarded thing you could have done for that card. A once per turn clause would have been fine. But no, we got a once per duel for a weak monster. And I understand there's a bunch of ways to special summon. And then send it off to Link and special summon it again. But if you made it a once per turn, it would have been fine. And so, before this ban list came out, I expected Stratos, if they brought it back, once per turn errata. But seeing as how the OCG has it to, I think it's about two, it would never be eroded. And so I'm super excited about him 
coming back. That just, that made me happy. Then after that, we've got Morphing Jar, which I'm pretty sure all the new kids that play nowadays that I've been playing since like Arc V and Zexel do not have their copies. And everybody else who saved theirs is going to have a blast teaching these young kids. Teach the young bloods, guy. Guys, anyone who has their Morphin Jars, take videos, send them to me. I'll, uh, I'll put um, a link in the description for the... Uh, for the email or I'll probably make up a I'll do a Facebook page and um, you guys can send it to that one but send me your wins on your morphing jars I want to see those let's see we got Electromite as our first link monster which I just traded the one I pulled from the mega pack and I'm like I'm not playing pendulums I was using it in the DDD build that I did last week and it was just for fun and I didn't really care for it Let's see, Omega got hit, which, not surprised, I've been waiting for that card to get hit since High Speed Riders came out and Pot of Desires was like 90 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever was the most. I just, I, I'm not a big fan of Omega. I use it like once or twice and I don't need more than one copy. But um, after that, we got one of the Exceed monsters that everybody's been waiting for, Exiton Knight. How great is it that we get this guy back i don't know if he's got an errata i'll have to double check but if not oh man people are gonna go knucking futs on the game with this card i can't wait to see the rank 4 exceed spam toolbox come back and people just using this card like crazy all right then we got a hero lives which i'm not surprised and just so many of you know i didn't uh, go out and afford the new copy or the higher rarity or whatever i got the common saving money i got bills to play so then uh this one right here of course you're gonna have to put it at one if you want to balance the game and put strato back so i'm i'm okay with it that one i never really needed it in my hero decks when i was playing it temporarily and it was like a two of at the most, but to put it at one, I'm not worried. We still got three emergency call. We even still got one reinforcement of the army, I'm sure. So it's like there's a ton of ways, especially with other monsters, to summon Stratos. So I'm not worried. Let's see. Uh, card destruction. Oh, I've got a buddy. Hey, shout out Matthew Williams with his uh, Dark World Danger deck. He is going to go ballistic when uh, he gets to play this in um, in his deck. It's just, it's gonna make everything crazy. I can't wait to see uh, combos that people do and it's gonna be a blast. After that, Hornet Drones. I am kinda disappointed that they didn't do Engage or any of the other ones. Hornet Drones is one of my least favorite cards. And just to, in general, Sky Striker. One of my least favorite archetypes. It's Number one, how expensive it is. Number two, how easy everything is to kick off. I like decks that, uh, sure, they can make some combos, but I like a little bit of setup, and I like some fairness to it. Kind of, I don't know what a good um, build, and I want to say DDD. It takes a lot of setup for it. But, uh, yeah, Sky Striker, they can choke on a bag of dicks. And then the next one, Super Poly. Oh, man, I even have my Secret Rare ready for that one. Oh, that... Just beautiful. Ultra Stratos, Secret Rare, Super Poly. All these guys back. All these are at one. I'm like, I honestly think the best deck to play with heroes that I plan on making is probably going to be an Invoked Super Poly build. and uh, Invoked Super Poly heroes. Just something to make it great. You got Alistair to summon those uh, or bring out those invocations. You can use uh, monsters from your hand to summon any fusion monster. I also I looked into the ruling ruling on this, so it's like if you're only summoning from the field, has to be an invoke fusion. If it's anything in your hand, can be any fusion. So I'm like, there's a lot of uh, potential, especially with some playing magical meltdown, polymerization, super poly, anything to fuse. I know super poly stops opponents from activating card effects, but still, the um, the field spell works really good. And then after that, that was it on the uh, limited, semi-limited, Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Oh, I just, I remember this card being at three when it was a Cosmo Monarch and Heroes, or not Heroes, Burning Abyss that were all, um, all in like the top three back in like, I think it was 2015 and 
I think Pepe took first as a uh, 2016. It was, it was something like that. I don't I don't really remember. Uh, let's see, Dark Destroyer. That makes me happy. I'm actually on the fence between making Cosmos or making a hero deck, and I'm trying to think of it. I'm probably gonna make them both and put a deck profile for you guys to see, anyways. So that one I'm also excited for. Then we've got Called by the Grave, which I gotta say that was a bad call. No pen, no pun intended. That was a bad, uh, bad thing to do for Konami because expensive Ash Blossom, which just to show you guys, I finally got my uh, my playset back. I traded my uh, my buddy who I traded the two for. I got him back from him for cards he was looking for, and I'm like, hey, I got my Ash Blossom. But called by the grave was a terrible choice, and it should have stayed at three because I'm gonna put him back. Um, it should have stayed at three because it was a great card to um, to balance out the hand traps. It was really good, and I'm like, man, they they hit it, and that is one of my least favorites. So after that, we got limiter removal, which I guess kind of makes sense if they're going to take away a ABC or a assault core and give them that card for ABCs or any other. Um, Machine deck. I can see people using the cheap rare, cheap rarity of um, the ultimate ancient gear golem and making like nine thousand. I forget what his attack is, but anywho, that one was decent. That um, I love machines. In fact, just Matthew just sent me that uh, that gear gear structure deck, and I'm like, hey, probably put that in the deck at one, but now it's at two. That's a two of an any machine deck. After that, let's see, we got two scapegoat, which i um, kind of disappointed because I just got my third place set of scapegoat, and I know all of you are going to be like, it's a common, you could have, no, I, I, I don't use commons. These ones are structure deck Joey. Many people know I love to collect certain um, sets. I've got three blue eyes from the structure deck Kaiba, three um, dark magicians from Yugi, three of these from Joey. I need... I think two more red eyes, black dragon from the Joey deck, and I think I have two or three relinquished from the Pegasus Pegasus deck. So I collect those ones from certain sets. I do have three dark magicians. I don't know if I mentioned it. Either way, I just got my third one, and now it's like I can only use two. I'm okay with that because it's for the deck, and that doesn't really bug me. Then uh, terraforming got hit. I. Oh, this was a card for years people wanted to get off the ban or on the ban list. Um, I think, let's see, when it was Diagram last year that people just wanted it hit. And I don't know what it was before that, but everyone's been calling for Diagram to get hit nonstop. And I'm like, hey, it finally happened. Took him a long time. Look how long it took to get Stratos back. And then to finish off the no longer on this, Towers. I'm happy because I also run a Klee deck. I'll probably make a Klee profile, but we need Scout back to three or even two. I'm okay with that, but uh, I'm pretty sure most people are not because like Yugi Nono, -No, just I still have uh, PTSD from Klee for Scout and you see it around Eugene's head. I'm like, hey, but uh, Tower's coming back to three. We got Link Monsters. That's balanced, so not a problem. We got Boral Lord, Boral Load and Boral Sword to... Uh, to contend with it and then we've got a firewall to bounce in there's a whole bunch of other ways so then uh, destiny hero disc commander like I said the guy who ever eroded the effect and uh, allowed it is probably going to hell just then go suck a dick and then burial from a different dimension to three oh that's gonna be so much fun because I like to play Nordic and when the Nordic stuff comes out this um, October or November whenever we get it I'm going to be so happy just returning my stuff back to the graveyard to save my um, my gods and keep summoning them. And then Ring of Destruction. Oh, that one's going to be... That's another fun. I'm, gonna see peop I'm hoping to see people play Morphing Jar with Ring of Destruction and just really see how many new players can, um, can just quit the game because of it. And it's not like quit the game, just be super pissed about it. But, uh... Wanted to make this video because had to give you guys my uh, 
my answer to it right now. And I know Matthew was texting me. He's like, hey, new new band list. Let's do it. Let's see something. So shout out to all you people. Hey, everyone. If you, uh, if you keep liking my videos, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you later.